Just if you are doing money, money, money. <laughs> I don't do it for fun. Oh, guys. Okay. Um, ah, I I slept on YouTube. I was looking for videos there to bypass as a Nigerian that I am. I was looking for how to bypass that eighty percent oh. business. I would assume that it makes more than your business. Of course. So <laughs> at what point? Who could do another hair now? It's shocking if you've not started a YouTube channel. Mm. Nothing. I film with my phone. I edit with my phone. Mm. I do everything with my phone. I was surprised. Like, what do you have to say about the CPM of Nigeria? Ah, very low. Jesus. Ah. <laughs> so. <laughs> hey, oh, my guy. Guys. My guy. No, my guy. My guys. Okay, okay, okay. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have a special guest, Onye from Onye Kiki TV. Oh. <laughs> a hairstylist mm -hmm. and she's a YouTuber, mm -hmm. doing very well in both fields. So, I have questions about YouTube that I know most stylists will have. Or okay. just about YouTube, even if you're not a stylist, I have questions. How did you even start it too? I started years back. I think 214 or 215. Oh, I saw two. Okay, two fifty, right? Uh, I, think, uh, I, I, okay, I think I opened my channel two fourteen, but I didn't start uploading videos. I started uploading videos. I think probably maybe late two fifteen or early two fifteen. I can't really remember now. So what or who inspired you at that point? At that point, the person that inspired me was Mitri B. <laughs> she, she's yeah, a lifestyle. She? She's a lifestyle. She's outside the country. After she had the son, I didn't okay, know you also watch her. She still, now. she still uploaded. She uploaded yesterday. So. Oh God, I forgot. Cleaning video. Then used to do like her um, content was just about makeup, and then I didn't really like makeup. Mm. So I was always watching her because of the way she talks, the way she behaves. So I just said, I think I can do this thing. Let me just start, and that was how I started. So when you started, you didn't have the intention of putting her style videos. No. I didn't have the intention of putting. Then I was just doing makeup, and at the time I started doing beauty because I noticed, um, I just noticed that we didn't have like in-depth tutorial on beauty, so I just started doing beauty. So that was how I started. Did you know you could make money from YouTube at all? I did YouTube for two or three years without getting paid. I was just having fun. Was it because I had to make monetization or? I did not know now. I didn't know. I was just having fun because I like the idea of. I'm a very quiet person and a shy person, mm -hmm. so I like the idea of, you know talking to people or maybe displaying myself without so many people being around mm -hmm. I don't know if you get it yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm you a lively, yourself. Yes, I'm a lively person inside but not outside mm -hmm. if I see people around me I tend get to get shy, shy. And hold back. Yes. but when I'm alone or probably with people I know I'm always very lively, I talk, I laugh, I play around, I don't dance so yeah that was even one of the reasons why I started so would you encourage, let's say, especially stylists, Nigerian stylists, will you encourage them to start a YouTube channel? Yeah, you can start a YouTube channel. This place, the sky is very big for everybody. So if you want to start a YouTube channel, you can start a YouTube channel at any time you want to. But the most important thing is just to start now. Guys, see, yeah. she's explaining this thing as an OG. Mm -hmm. Let me explain this thing as a great, see, this new generation of YouTubers are starting because of money. I don't know anybody that's starting YouTube now because they like to share, it's their passion. Especially since I didn't know how to like make money through other like bridal. I started getting more from YouTube than I make in my salon within a short time. Okay. And then whenever I see any stylist, I'll be like, you have a YouTube channel. Mm, you should start uploading. Oh, okay. That's the way we can really benefit crossing over from Nigeria. Mm. Because like when you go on Instagram and you see those stylists, their pages, they have <coughs> like $25 non-refundable fee. Yes, 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 yes. And in Nigeria, we make peanuts. We make peanuts. We don't make, make peanuts. We make peanuts. They don't charge, I think they charge from $100 a week. To make their next To make their, yes. And do you know the cool thing about their, their place? They have like set hairstyles that they make that you have to choose from. Mm. All but four all back with design, mm. four all back steep braid, lemonade. Yeah, they will just put the amount. Nigerians like will stress you. Those <laughs> Nigerian clients will stress you so much and then pay you peanuts. But the only way you can make money like them mm. is when you're getting paid on YouTube. YouTube right? it's, it's shocking if you've not started a YouTube channel. Mm. Nothing. I film with my phone. I edit with my phone. Mm. I do everything with my phone. I was surprised. I don't, hey, when you don't have she an her phone. I said this is what she <laughs> filmed with. I was surprised. You really need to. If you're just if you want to start for money, mm. then you really need to get into it. So at what point did your YouTube start making? Let me say more than your business. I would assume that it makes more than your business. Of course. So, at what point was it like from years back? Uh, from, I think it started making me money um, from 2017. So, did it change Did it change the dynamics in your workplace, like in your salon? Yeah. Like, because yeah. I know it has affected me. Like, even when I have clients, I get more excited if it's somebody that can fling their hair or a hairstyle that will you can fit my YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Yes, it's, yes, you are right. It affected me somehow. At the time, I was even. I was feeling too big for my son. Oh God, you just said it. You just said, Johnny will come with boring hairstyles. 
a uh, boring hair and then i'll be like maybe go and make that hair <laughs> <laughs> but now i know better so what do you know better i know better i make every every hair every hairstyle or every client that comes i make their hair even if it's if, if you, even if it's going to like benefit my channel mm -hmm. or not, I just make the work. Okay, me, I'm not in that space. So I prefer the, I still make it to but I am not as excited as when I can film. But there's something that changed my mindset. During that YouTube week, that those seminars that we have, that, yeah. that lady was invited, that she was talking about tell your story as it is. I used to just look down, God forgive me, but I used to look down on like Nigerian, like maybe like Didi or All Back. I would just consider some hairstyles to not be trendy, but these are like our indigenous hairstyles, mm. like even thread. You'd be yeah. like, nobody wants to see that. Nobody no. wants to see that. People that want to see it. Yeah. 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 And that's why I respect people like Kenyans, even South Africans. They show, I think that they do not trend their um, hairstyles, their local hairstyles. Which one is they do not trend? That young, this thing. Okay, okay, yeah. Oh, it's their hairstyle. I just saw it. All those tribal, they'll just make chuku. In Nigeria, they'll be doing your make a hairstyle. Don't do that. No, no. So that thing is changed. That it changed my mindset. So mm -hmm. I now film when I make those hairs that I consider to be local. Mm. So the woman said we should be confident to tell our story how it is. Yeah. So just film, even if in your area you feel like, okay, I'm always seeing stitch braids online. Mm. I don't make stitch braids. I can't make a YouTube video about it. Mm. Make a video about whatever you do. Like with Nikki, she stays in Lagos and she does like DT, some kind, mm -hmm. like yes, even young. That's when I even knew how like you, you braid with uh, wool and then she brushed it out. After braiding it, she brushed it. It was now looking, the look was different. Like ah. you still get to just show you. check it though. Okay, then just film it. Just film it. And again, the monetary part of YouTube. Mm. So but don't expect YouTube to start paying me immediately. You have to work for it. And just be relaxed, be patient. Mm -hmm. YouTube will pay you if you are consistent. Okay. So, more questions about YouTube, right? Mm. What do you have to say about the CPM of Nigeria? Ah, very low. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> so, it can be frustrating. Jesus. So does it make you try to make your videos that will target audiences that are outside Nigeria? Yeah. Nope, I just post whatever I feel I should post. I just post. You're really not money conscious. I, I like you're really, really you're, you're, I'm enjoying the growth. Yeah. You're doing it too because you enjoy it. Yes. And I, I don't look at. I'm it. not like. <laughs> you have to just be. You have to just create or like fix yourself to be thinking that way because YouTube is like this. Like sometimes you mm -hmm. go up, sometimes. Last two years I made more money than last year. Oh, and another question. And I, and I did not feel bad. I'm just grateful that at least I could make dollars or I could make money outside Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Because I know I even have, I'm working with my certificate, I will be making as much as I'm making right now. True. Do you understand? True. So I feel very grateful. No matter the amount they pay me, since I'm making, I have like two um, sources of, of income. income. Since I'm still making money here and I'm making money there, I'm, I'm okay. I'm grateful. At least for the platform, I'm very grateful. I wake up every morning, I'm grateful and happy that I can make money. So if you're not making money from YouTube, mm -hmm. do you feel like you'll really be satisfied with what you're getting from your salon alone? Because I'm a spoiled, <laughs> I'm a spoiled brat. Like I spend a lot. So I feel like I would have actually gone to look for another job. But I can I'm manage. No, I can manage. That's me. I told you I can save money, man. <laughs> yes. I, 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 I can save. I can. I can cut costs. If this, like, let's say, off of beat, it's not my first job. I can save it. Jesus say. But if. I don't make as much as I'm making right now mm -hmm. on YouTube. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only thing I would do is probably maybe if I used to wear my car or well, I used to apply or use cream of, I probably use perfume of 10,000. Mm -hmm. Let me just do that. I cut it down to 2,000. Okay, so you cut down your expenses? Yes, I cut down my expenses. So I can manage. Like I can always fit in in any situation I find myself. This goes to show how beneficial YouTube is actually. Yes. For you to see that it's giving that extra, extra, very yeah. sweet extra guys. If you're not studying YouTube channel and you're Nigerian studies, you're sleeping, you're sleeping on it. Mm -hmm. So I've always had this, I don't know, I always hear on YouTube that December is always a good month and the price has been more. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked and disappointed and heartbroken to find out that December was like a very terrible, terrible, very terrible. I actually noticed something about last year mm -hmm. when it comes to YouTube payments. I told you. That I've never been paid as low as I was paid last, last year. year. Ah, no, last year was horrible, including the tax. <laughs> horrible. Last, oh my last two years was better. I don't know what happened to YouTube. I don't know, probably maybe they are trying to, I don't know what they are trying to do. But I just noticed that most of our pay mm -hmm. this year, this recent year that just passed, 2021, was really, really low. very low. I don't got CPM of about, initially I used to get higher, sometimes seven. Times twelve, but last year I was even getting two, two dollars, two dollars. Is December usually like this? No, no at all. No. December, 
our chiefs RP mm -hmm. used to be very high, like oh, oh. very, very high. But this year, it's here. Yes, we even talk about this 30% tax. <coughs> I expect on you to be looking for video there to bypass as a Nigerian. I was looking for how to bypass that 30%. There is no way. As far as you in this country, no way. Yes. Then don't pay for subscribers. Mm. Don't do so. I was doing sub for sub. <coughs> then you meet some of the subscribers. They will not watch your video for like two seconds. God, it's and it will kill seconds. your audience retention. Apart from that, anytime you upload, they don't go back to watch. So just get genuine, genuine subscribers. Just pray that genuine people just locate your channel and watch. Those ones are very consistent. Anytime you upload, they are very fast to click and they watch for long because they are interested in your content. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And starting up new um, youtubers mm -hmm. make sure you are consistent like if you notice this christmas period i've been consistent i've been uploading back to back back to back and i noticed that um there's a little bit shift like growth on my channel so mm -hmm. try and be consistent mm -hmm. be consistent don't even give up try just try and create something and upload on your youtube channel try and be consistent and make sure you get like a very good thumbnail and a topic a good um video topic those two things attract viewers mm -hmm. so yeah i think that's it for new youtubers so you think a new youtuber channel. can actually learn to film and edit <coughs> i learned everything on youtube so right. it, yeah and nobody to put me through what is what they're having like you know other people they come making around videos. teach uh, or making videos mm -hmm. some people come go as far as teaching people personally mm -hmm. like me i taught my younger sister personally she taught her friend personally so people go as far as teaching people personally. I mean, nobody taught and me. And people now know what to deal with. Then you don't yeah. even know. Nobody taught me. Just mm -hmm. now. I mean, the reason why I later introduced hairstyling to my channel was because I opened my salon. I was yeah. just doing makeup and really, mostly gaily. And mm -hmm. I was even getting plenty views there. I was I didn't have my salon then. My salon wasn't open then. So much later, I opened my salon. So because I opened, I had the salon. I was not like, ah, I can be creating content. I can be filming what I'm doing in the salon and I'll be, I'll be uploading it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So that's how I started. I like added hairstyling into my YouTube channel. Okay, so give us like some of your all-time favorite YouTubers. It will be like that lady. Oh God. Are you serious? Even though she upload video, I watch. I, used to I like her. I you like her too, right? Yes. I like her. I just like but her. But then I really like Patricia. I just like her personality, yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe because of her personality. I, I, not like I don't like her. I like her, but the only person that, you know, I got really that inspiration. Yes, the inspiration from was That's nice. Nutri B. I just liked, I like her lifestyle. That was the simple truth. I like the way she lived her life. I like, I'm not there physically with her. I'm just watching her online, just the way you watch me online too. But I just like everything about her. So this my my next question is about feeling, especially when you're teaching a skill on YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. Many people come there just to learn what you have to teach and then how do you connect your audience? How do you get them to connect with you personally and not just what you have to teach them? Because I have that problem too, which even made me to start my second channel. Whenever I make my hairstyle videos, they are watching, but whenever it has to do with me personally, personally they don't watch. Zero interest. So what would you advise people that are thinking about starting their channel? Is there a I'm way also, they can avoid that problem? Me, I'm also going through the, this same question you're asking me, so I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> I'm also like, anytime I upload hairstyling videos, I get like thousands and thousands of views. But anytime I upload like my personal videos or personal lifestyle, I just get few views. I'm also going through the same thing. So what would you have done different? <laughs> like always interacting with my subscribers or Okay. Yes, always interacting with my subscribers. I always interact. Like if I upload two hairstyling video, I do like an interaction section where I get to talk or do like Q and A, so that they can get to yes, know so you. That you know, yes, so that my viewers get to know me and I'll get to know them. I get to know people that are viewing me. Can yes. you encourage people to take their other social media handle seriously to still interact with their subscribers? Or yes, is it no. too much work. No, it's not too much work. You can juggle the, the boats. Like you can do the boats together. I see other YouTubers do it. They. You know, combine, do everything together. No, it's, difficult. Difficult. It's, difficult. it's actually difficult. I'm also struggling with that aspect. But I feel some actually pays people to help them handle some, manager. Yes, handle some of all these other social media you know, accounts. But you can do it yourself if you're not really doing anything. As for me right now, I'm just telling myself that I don't have children to be taken care of. So the only thing I just need to focus on now is my career. Mm -hmm. Like 
eating in one walk so that when I start having children, it will not be difficult. I can actually just give it to a social media manager to just help me manage. That's what I just got myself. Or I can just be you know, doing the slow business. But now that I don't have any serious engagement with probably children or family, I can put in more work. And some people, until I started it too, I didn't know that there are some actions that I can take to show that I support my favorite YouTuber. Many people don't know. <coughs> like people watching, you know, watching. What are small actions you can take that helps your channel? Because many people sincerely don't know. Okay, it matters. Like, yes. No, it does. It matters. It's to share your favorite YouTubers' videos. Mm -hmm. You can share it to all your social media platforms, like your Instagram, Facebook, like Facebook more especially because. For me, I feel this place is more special because of the content I create, okay, the kind of content I create. So you can share it all over and also give the video thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Leave a comment and just okay, yeah. leave, a, leave a comment. Appreciate it. Yes, people don't know how much it means when you know that you're not just. It's very easy for you to feel as if your job, what you're doing is going on, yeah, and you're yeah. just talking to yourself. Yeah, yeah. When people give you feedback, yeah. even though it's negative ones, those people that like looking for trouble, even yeah. though it's negative ones, it's still nice to know that okay, somebody's watching, somebody knocked something. Mm. So please. You guys, share yeah. the comment. Don't just tell your friend I saw one video. Send her the link. The link. Just Fire, share. Yeah, the you know link. WhatsApp. You can just yeah, share. Don't share. And then leave comment. Tell, tell the person that you appreciate the content, mm -hmm. so that the person will keep, you know, keep uploading so things yeah. like that. And it's so that you keep to learning. know that that channel is interesting, and so the person can grow. Yeah. Before I made my channel, I didn't know this, so I don't even thumbs up. But now every video I watch, you must at least just thumbs up. Every right? time you watch a video, just thumbs up. That's the least you can do. That yeah. I was. I hardly leave comments. Mm -hmm. Me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I will start leaving comments. I watch lots of videos, but I have to keep uh, leave comments. But I always thumbs up. That's I, that one I do it in thoughts. I always film videos. Like for next week, I film all the videos I'm going to upload. Mm -hmm. This do that. Yes, that's what I do. That's another one. That's scary. <laughs> that's what I do. That's scary. That's so scary. I like to have. Um, like content ready before the, the week I'm supposed to upload it. Sure, you're telling people to always like make sure they are consistent. Mm. A challenge I used to have with that, right? Mm. Instead of scheduling videos, I'll feel like, why don't I put it? Why don't I make it public now so that I can start making money from today? So, what I'll do is like in a week I can have like five videos and then the next week I'll not have any video. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should have the patience, you like schedule two, 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 two. No, two, two. I, that's what I do. That's what I do. I either do two or three. Don't you feel like you're missing money when? The video is just like I already told you that I didn't start uh, YouTube because okay, of the okay, money. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm not doing I'm not doing money 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 mm -hmm. on YouTube. I just if you are doing money money. money. <laughs> I don't do it for fun. Oh, guys, it's just for fun. If you do something for fun, ah, uh, you make it and you'll be relaxed. You'll be relaxed making the money. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't put money in front. Just just be having fun and you enjoy both the growth. And then the money yeah, that comes really out to be having fun. If yes. not, you get tired of it. Ah, you should you be demoralized. Yes. You, you will not be able You'll be to stressed out. Yeah. Because YouTube is work. It's serious work. My guys, I have My guys. I just remembered a uh, flatmate. My guy. <laughs> my guys. <laughs> Who says my guys? Uh, oh, my my guy. My, no, my guy. My guys. Okay, okay, okay. The security guy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> my guy and his friend. Yeah, my guy. I'm referring to one person. One person. <laughs> so my guy is. Yeah. As I say, just take YouTube very serious. If you are starting off, take just only one video. Eh, one video can make you so much money. Like I don't know, it will change your life. It's not easy, but it's worth it. So just keep uploading. Don't give up. Mm -hmm. Be having have fun. Keep uploading. You might grow more than me. And it's true. I can never predict the yeah. video that will do well for you. Exactly. Basically. Mm -hmm. So, so many okay i started i started before so many people uh -huh. mm -hmm. and i i have right now i have so many views more than or so many subscribers more than so many people uh -huh. and there are some people that started after, after me i can list their names and they have plenty views and subscribers more than me <laughs> like that so now everybody knows that you're open to collab right Especially yeah I'm open, you, I don't dull yourself yes i'm open to collab like uh, I, I want to even meet new people so you guys you can just hold on me send me a dm on my Instagram page, and I will attend to that. Oh, I didn't ask you about your channel name. Your channel name before, my beauty or JJ. Yeah. What was JJ? JJ is my name, Jennifer. What's the second thing? Just JJ. I just put JJ in this guy, Jennifer. So, at what point did you decide to become more official with your channel name? Um, when is it? Okay, I just felt like what? I should myself, my name should represent a brand. Like a brand. Yeah. We've been talking. Yeah. We've been talking since I met her, like, <laughs> we just clicked. I'm telling you, since morning we talk in questions, questions, questions. I got that question. I don't even know who talk more. It's you. I talk. You're more. quiet, but you really talk. Yeah.
So guys, if I missed any question you would like to know, you can just leave it in the yeah, comment, comment section, section below. I'll we'll let you know. Yeah. Any question, answer. Answer. You come. You know, ask us. You know, you know what to ask us. So I will definitely answer. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being there to chat with everybody. Thank you for. for I don't even know where to start. Thank you. Just thank you very much. You're welcome. And thank you too for coming. I'll talk to you guys in. Me, I'll talk to you guys in another video. Stay blessed. Bye bye.